morning friends it's gonna be our last full day here in Jasper we're finishing up our breakfast here pack stuff up and we'll head out for our daily run I think we're just gonna go driving down the Iceland Parkway today and um, see a bunch of the lakes and a bunch of the sites to see probably about halfway between here and Banff and then tomorrow morning we'll pack up and we'll head out for our next three nights in Banff. So glad you're staying with us. Follow along. If you like what you're seeing, make sure and click that subscribe like button and hit subscribe so you can see more of our adventures. Keep up with us and see what kind of mischief we might get into or might not. We've made a stop here at Valley of the Five Lakes. And that's the scenery around us. So we're gonna go take this hike and see what it's all about. Short loop. Short loop? Yeah. You weenie boy. <laughs> Does it cover all the lakes? It's a two hour hike, man. Oh, okay. The short loop is? Holy crap, let's do the short loop. It's moderate. Yeah. No. Elevation well, that's... minimum, elevation maximum. Y'all will be taking pictures and videos. All right. So I'll see it. So here we go. We're at the trailhead. The chair is not the, the chair is the bonus here. Yep. The highlights of this whole thing is like three and four. Yes. Okay. Kick it in four wheel low. Yep, well, overall, I think this is going to be about a two mile hike up here and back. So, just yep, if I <clears throat> watch where I'm walking, I won't try to follow while I'm talking to you. So, follow along. Yeah, wasn't expecting all these ups and downs like this, but you know, we're out here in the mountains, so you never know. Say hi, everybody, dear. Hi, everybody. Holy cow. Yeah, I bet coming back the other way is going to be a little easier. All right, made it to the bottom of that. Yeah, the lake's to the right. The left looks like it takes us back. Onward and upward. Here we go. Yeah. They got steep all of a sudden. Oh, wow. It's a wild moment. I 
Bye bye. The scary part about this is we have not seen this sign up to this point. That would look cool as a waterfall. It's not real fresh, but I think it's early morning fresh. I said it's bear. And I can't tell you what bear poop looks like, but I don't see any bells in it, so it can't be a bear. So what you thinking about it so far? It's good, it's fun. I'm just a little money, but other than that, I'm good. It's all good. <laughs> all about timing, huh? All about timing. Here's yet another one of the lakes. I'm gonna quit number them because they don't have them numbered on the trail but oh man imagine camping waking up to this in the morning yeah, man. and i don't <clears throat> know if this video is going to show it but look at the blueness the aqua in that water my goodness and if you want you can have your little sister sitting right up on that bench i'll be up in a minute honey stay there mike So this is the first lake that we got a picture of. We come around on the other side of it. So I think this is lakes four and five that we just saw. I'm gonna quit worrying about the numbers. All right, here's a second set of chairs we found along on our trip. These are on the uh, Valley of the Five Lakes hiking trail. And here's another lake. A little bit smaller one, but they're all about the same and rather pretty, 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 pretty. All right, we made it to the second lake. So we've seen five, four, three, and this is two. Uh, we're not gonna go to one, cause that's another couple miles loop to get up to that. And we're pretty much beat up. And this poor little lake didn't get its water color. Dadgummit, poor thing. This is the ugly duckling, I guess. All right, and this is first lake, so we did. We got them all. If I can get down to this one without killing myself. Yeah, I made it right down to the lake. Oh yes. So I'm going to be quiet and let y'all take it all in here. Good and clear. Yep. So this is the last lake. So we have made all five lakes in the valley of the five lakes. Now I gotta get my motor going so I can get back up 
yeah, back up there. Okay, well folks, looks like you get another angle of the lake than what I got down there. Yeah, we knew we was going to do some hiking, but not uh, mountain climbing. Should have brought my repelling ropes along. Oh wait, I don't have any. All right. It looks like we made it back to the fork nice. where three hours and 20 minutes ago we went that away <laughs> and now we're coming back that away hey, and now we still got to go that away to get to the parking lot and we made it back to civilization back to the parking lot so this is our view a little roadside stop we made near the Alabaster River for lunch. Can you unlock the truck, Mom? Yep. Can you unlock the bag? Just breathtaking stuff out here. Breathtaking. Yep, time to move on. And here's the bottom end of it. All right, we're on our way down to Sunwapta Falls. Go check this out and see what it's about. All right, here's the bottom of the falls. Here's the top side. We made us a stop here at Honeymoon Lake on our way back to Jasper. It's a pretty good sized little area here. It, uh, yeah, pretty good sized little lake here. And uh, you can have fires. There's a, it's free camping. You just self-register, pull up and get you a camp spot. And uh, you're here. We've got restrooms here. A lot of places like this up here in Canada. Onward down the road. After a day of hiking and chasing the waterfalls, we uh, got hungry, so we decided to go into Jasper instead of going back to camp and cooking. We found a place called the Whiskey Jack Grill that was known for their schnitzel. 
So we went in and had schnitzel, which was very good. And then we decided, oh, let's have a little bit of dessert. So we had blueberry pie with vanilla ice cream, which was perfect to top the evening off. So we made a stop up here on the side of the road because we saw an eagle in a nest. And there he is right out there. And the nest is right there. Found us a couple of elk. Look at the horns on that dude. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Heading back to Jasper for our last night here. And uh, yeah, it's 10 o'clock at night, 10 p.m. And you see all this sunshine. And look at that moon over that mountain. Isn't that fantastic? All right, folks. It is 11 p.m. And you see how much light we still have in the skies. This is just a cell phone camera. And you can still see the mountains up there. This is just crazy. 11 p.m. back at home. It would be dark. If you like our content, hit the like button, subscribe, and then click that bell to get notifications of new videos.